We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. The longtime Panther Graham Gano has us set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Cameron bats him now from his end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Second down, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Brown with a stick skills. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's dating the obvious. Tannehill on third down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual-type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Rolling to his right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this one is incomplete. That one brought back a few nightmares because when a quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive back, make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline and not letting them connect on that pass. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Throwing Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Meanwhile, Jones throw caught by Tony. 
That'll be a gain of 15 yards, and it'll be second and very short. They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Giants are going to have first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds right around the five-yard line. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Second down and goal. Jones, he'll buy some time, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones taking it in from two yards out, and the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7 nothing lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Cameron Batson now from his end zone. Batson not going to risk returning it, so they'll start at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. As they've got it, second and seven. Now a handoff to Henry. And powering through at the 35. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again to Henry. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter. Seven nothing ball game. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Derrick Henry. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This is Henry. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. 
It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. They'll run on first down. Henry, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Looking for Shepard deep. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second and five now. Jones, he dumps it off to Barkley. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, throw left side, complete to Ingram. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. It's complete to John Ross. And some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An explosive 38-yard pickup. Throwing on first down. Jones. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And they're going to lose. 
lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looking to throw. Jones to Barkley on the check down. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the 